welcome to the world's first conference dedicated to our industry, dedicated to the visual computing industry. Uh, this is the first of its kind. We're bringing together companies that represent our ecosystem. Our expansive ecosystem that includes technology companies, software companies, system integrators, system producers, system designers, as well as all of the end markets that our products and our technologies have helped transform. Uh, this week with us, we're going to have people from all walks of life and all areas of technology. From car designers, to film and game designers and artists, to scientists that span astrophysics, astrophysics to the life sciences. We're even going to have a few celebrities with us. It's going to be a great, great week. Now our ecosystem is expansive. And it's amazing that as large as our ecosystem and as influential as our ecosystem has been, that there's never been a conference dedicated to visual computing. We're going to change that this week. Oh, by the way, Mayor Reed, if there is a NVIDIA that's about to be started out there, could you just not do it? <laughs> I don't care where you don't do it, but don't do it. <laughs> it's been done. <laughs> where was I? This ecosystem, this ecosystem starts at its core. Technology companies that don't like the processors like AMD and Intel, IBM with the PowerPC, the ARM microprocessor, and even Hitachi with the SH microprocessor that's pervasive in cars. Includes visual computing technology companies like NVIDIA. It includes uh, graphic software companies like Mental Images and Pixar. Platform companies like operating systems from Windows and the Direct 3D API, the OS X, PlayStation, Nintendo, the Xbox. These platforms make it possible for us to deliver the technology to the end users. And of course, platforms like the internet are becoming increasingly interactive because of Web 2.0 technologies. These platform technologies and the core technologies have then enable the applications from the end markets that we serve. Amazing applications that you guys are going to see this week. In the automotive, automotive industry, a car is entirely designed in digital today. From styling to mechanical designs, to the simulation of aerodynamics, crash simulations, manufacturing management, the digital assets are even used in commercials, in print ads, all the way to the point of sales, where a potential buyer can decide what colors and options they would like to choose. The $60 billion video game industry that we serve, 250 PlayStation sold to date, over 70 million Game Boy PSs, over 50 million PSPs, and now even the iPhone with 10 million ship is becoming a really exciting game platform. A $40 billion film industry where computer graphics has fundamentally transformed what we can experience and make possible in movies today. In fact, I think the top 10 movies this year, the top 10 grossing movies this year, with the exception of Sex and the City, <laughs> And, and I'm not sure if, if some augmented uh, reality was used, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but all of the top ten grossing movies this year wouldn't have been possible at all without computer graphics. <coughs> Iron Man would be rather difficult without computer graphics. Narnia would be, well, frankly, impossible without computer graphics. We've transformed industry after industry after industry, and now even the medical imaging industry. It's possible now for you to go to a doctor, get a CT, an MRI, or an ultrasound scan, 
and for that doctor to reconstruct the volumetric representation of the patient and show it to you in real time so that they can diagnose the patient with much more accuracy and much more quickly than ever before. There is no question the extensiveness as well as the reach and breadth and certainly the contribution we've made to uh, industries worldwide. At the core of the visual computing ecosystem are the technologies that make all of these incredible applications possible. Of course, first of all, is graphics. Graphics both photorealistic, such as Iron Man, or artistic, such as Wally or Kung Fu Panda. These graphics technologies has now become a medium, if you will. It's no longer just a technology for scientists, but it's become a medium for artistic expression. We are on the cusp of a display revolution. We're going to show you some really exciting display technologies here at this conference this year. Whereas images used to be about higher resolution and more color, now it's about more dimension. We are going to dimensionalize the display in a way and bring the level of enthusiasm and a, and a new level of enjoyment that colorization did for uh, energy. 